Des Moines. Ia with one week left until Iowa caucuses kick off the Republican presidential nominating calendar. Nikki Haley is a candidate on rise. But with her rise in the polls, scrutiny of Haley is increasing, drawing more fire from her rivals and President Biden for the GOP nomination. Management responded. Among her targets was Biden, who hours earlier had beaten her for not mentioning slavery when answering a question about the causes of the Civil War. What Nikki Haley said at the town hall in Iowa let me be clear for those who don't know the cause of the Civil War was slavery. The president said hours earlier, while giving a speech in Haley's hometown, Biden spoke at Sister Emanuel African Methodist Episcopal Church in Charleston, a historically black church where nine parishioners were killed in a horrific 2015. Mother Emanuel Church is a holy place, Haley said when asked to respond. Biden coming there and making a political speech is aggression in itself. And Haley emphasized I don't need someone who spent time with segregationists in the 70s and made racist comments throughout his career lecturing me anyone else in South Carolina about what racism meant. Or slavery. Anything like that. Related to the Civil War. While Biden running for White House 2020 presidential term, he was criticized for speaking positively about two separatist senators with whom he worked in Senate years ago and stating that there at least some civility chamber. Great expectations pressure for Trump. DeSantis and Haley to work at conferences in Iowa Haley also argued that Biden should be fired. After Pentagon failed to disclose that Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin was hospitalized for elective surgery, leaving the president in dark for several days. It's incredible that we are faced with a situation like this. I already have a problem with the fact that Biden doesn't talk to the Secretary of Defense every day, Haley emphasized. Last month, he caught up with Florida Gov. Ron DeSantis in latest Iowa polls and national polls, finishing in a distant second place behind Trump, who is entering the White House for third consecutive term. A first on Fox Haley fundraising increases in the last three months Trump and his political allies have increasingly targeted Haley in recent weeks. The Trump campaign and an aligned super PAC are running new ads that enrage Haley on the combustible issue of border security and illegal immigration. Haley even opposed Trump's wall. And Haley has repeatedly pushed for amnesty for illegals. Claims the narrator of a new ad that debuted Monday. Nikki Haley, too weak. Too liberal to fix the border. Haley responded by arguing that just because President Trump says something is right does not make it right. He's lying about this. She stressed. And I will tell you that the reason he lied about it was because he took bits and pieces of what I said. I said you should NT just build the border wall. You should do more than tea.